Why do so many tech support solutions start with reboot or power down? Hi everyone, I'm Leo Notenboom for AskLeo.com where we've been rebooting and powering down computers and powering them back up again since 2003. So this is a question that I get fairly often. Let me read you one example. It seems like every time I call the tech support line for my software operating system or even my broadband connection, the first thing out of the technician's mouth is reboot or worse yet, power down for a while. What does that have to do with anything and why does it work? I agree. It does seem like so much magic, I know, but it is one of those fundamental things that honestly, you should try on your own all the time when you're expecting or experiencing a problem. It is one of those almost magic bullets that can make all sorts of different problems go away. The question of course is, why is that? When it comes to the electronics in your devices, it is absolutely possible for the electronics, not the software, but the actual hardware in your devices to get into what I'll just call a weird state. It can be anything from uh, a bug in the software can certainly cause it, but even things outside of the software, like power fluctuations or even cosmic rays, as it turns out, can cause the hardware to be affected in such a way that it is not in a state that is 100% the way it should be. And because these things are so random and unpredictable, it's also very possible that there is no known way of operating the software or the device normally that would cause that whatever state it is to be reset. The only thing that you can do in a case like that is to turn it off completely. Now, there are two kinds of turn offs. Of course, you can reboot something which is mostly about the software or you can turn something off physically. In other words, that's when they say turn it off and unplug it from the power for a while that removes the electricity from the device and actually returns all of the hardware in your computer or in whatever other device to its known initial state. In other words, powered off, everything gets reset. When that happens, then when you restart the device, it's operating from a known good state and then can pick up wherever it had left off. The problem no longer being present until, of course, the next thing comes along. Now, of course, when we talk about computers, we have to say that the same thing applies to software. More often than not, it's a random bug, I'll call it. Something that isn't supposed to happen, but still does on occasion, maybe even on rare occasions, or maybe it happens often, but it's the rare occasion where it actually impacts anything. Once again, the problem is because the behavior, the activity isn't something that was expected, normal operation of the software doesn't undo it. It doesn't reset it. It doesn't fix the problem. The only way is to start over. That's where a reboot comes in. You're not resetting the hardware by removing the power, but you are resetting the software by forcing the operating system to be reloaded from a known state. That known state is there's nothing loaded. So it starts from nothing, reloads the operating system and resets up everything the way it should be. It's a rule of thumb in software, in hardware, in basically almost any kind of technology related diagnosis. When in doubt, reboot. Generally, there's almost no cost involved in that other than perhaps a little bit of downtime. Don't reboot spuriously when you're you know, trying to use the machine. But if you're experiencing a problem, if you're beating your head against some kind of weird behavior in your software, in your hardware, reboot. Turn everything off. Unplug the power for a little while and then start over from scratch. Not only will the spurious problems be reset by being removed by either the power no longer being present or the software being reloaded, but perhaps even as important, 
only those things you actually will be using will be loaded into RAM, loaded into memory. And that is another cause of just having too much software all loaded at the same time, somehow occasionally improperly interacting with one another. By rebooting, you're getting rid of all that stuff too. So when in doubt, reboot. It is one of the fastest ways to make, I'd say about half, if not three quarters of the problems you often experience just go away as if by magic. And you know, there's a strong argument that in fact, it is in fact magic. For the article on which this was based, for updates, for comments, for related links, visit askleo.com 2434. I'm Leo Notenboom. This is askleo.com. Thanks for watching. Thank you.